Hi guys, welcome to Sim Raid YT. Well, today we're in the Raid Shadow Legends in the dungeon maps, and we'll be in the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Now, about the Minotaur's Labyrinth, it's where you get scrolls, and the scrolls are used on your champions. But first, we'll just talk about the, the Minotaur. He has a Tremor Stomp, attacks all enemies, deals double damage to enemies with hex debuffs, damage is based on attack. He has Swift Doom skill, attacks all enemies, places a hex debuff for 5 turns on a random target. This debuff cannot be resisted, so it means whatever happens you can't stop when he uses it against your champions. Damage is based on your attack. And Raging Bull, starts the battle with Rage buff for 3 turns. While active, the Rage buff increases the damage that the Minotaur deals by 400%, so the faster you can kill him, the better. Once the Rage buff expires, the Minotaur will become dazed and will receive a dazed debuff for one turn. While active, the dazed debuff increases the damage the Minotaur receives by 200%. Once the dazed debuff expires, the Minotaur will once again receive a Rage buff for three turns, starting the cycle over. These buffs and debuffs cannot be blocked or removed by skills that remove debuffs. He's almighty immune passive, immune to stun, freeze, sleep, provoke, Block active skills, block passive skills, fear, true fear, petrification, debuffs. Also immune to HP exchange effects, HP balancing effects, and cooldown increasing effects. How it works. Minotaur looks impressive but is actually very straightforward. He puts out a hex debuff that exploits to heavily damage your champions. The hex can't be resisted, but damage is just damage. Enough defense, buffs, or healing will take care of it. The Minotaur also has a key weakness. Every three turns he takes a triple damage from all attacks. If you're struggling to defeat him, try waiting till his defenses are down to lay on the, the damage. However, most high level teams can beat him regardless of this state. He also has a pair of hard hitting minions, but these aren't very tough. The AoE champions you bring to deal with the waves leading up to the Minotaur should be able to deal with these minions as well, without you having to shift your focus off the Minotaur. The trick of the jun this dungeon is your team will ch change often. Scrolls are earned once per champion basis, so you'll eventually want to swap out one of the champions in your Minotaur team for someone new. Effectively, you need to be able to defeat Minotaur with just four champions, since you never know if your fifth is going to be someone useful. So what I mean by here, about these scrolls, is different levels, you get different levels of scrolls. So we'll go here and look into my champions and I'll show you what I mean by that. I have some champions here which I'm working on at present time, increasing their levels. Here we go, we have Ursula. So in her masteries, as you can see I have 100 of the small, minimum scroll, 247 of the minimal, minimum, medium scrolls. So then we would choose here a skill out of all the different things here. To, and these skills all depends on which champion you're using and what you're going to use the champion for. So I plan on using Ursula's defense, so I would give her additional defense. So we would go click, and then there we have it. She would now has some defense on her, and I will set up her as a support as well when the time comes. But now we'll go back to the fight of the Minotaur, and we'll just show you what we do to progress. Back into the dungeons and back into the Minotaur. Okay. Okay, stage 11 of the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Now, this is the first opportunity where we have the chance of getting Divine Scrolls as well, Basic Scrolls, and Advanced Scrolls. But once you've already maxed out the amount of Basic Scrolls, you'll no longer get that as a reward. It will only give you what it, your lowest level you require Advanced or Divine. The cost of 12 energy and we'll get underway. Just remember I always put a speed in the front and gives the extra goes and turns when fighting the enemies. The more turns you can get the faster the battle to your champions to take the win. Okay, in 11 seconds we're on to the boss, into the Minotaur. Well, the so Valley just does her revive school there, so if any champions die on the next turn, they come back to life. Okay, 
and the Minotaur is being taken care of. 5,900 silver, as I said, as you do the higher stages, you get more reward. And here we receive four advanced scrolls. Okay, that was Minotaur's Labyrinth Stage 11. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one.